Right, okay, so we're on the um, last December um, game of the year. Uh, we're on the last William Shatner's Tech War. Hopefully I can get through this fairly well. It'll, well, if we don't, it's going to have to be a um, walkthrough just to, see, just to see how it's done. Before I start, I need to remember to put in attacks because yesterday I was busy faffing around with the machine, so it never got done. So I'm doing that now. December, retro, chill. Ah, wait a minute. Chill. Killed at. Yes. There we go. Right, let's just check to see whether. There we go. Right, so all the tags are on now. Brilliant. Okay, so let's get on with it. Oh, before I do, I need to put on a stream games image. Right, let's set up now. Okay, CD capstone. CD tech core. There we go. I suppose you're wondering why you're here. It's simple. You're the best. Skip this because we've seen this loot. It's in. So we need to load in the last game. Uh, I'm just going to abort it because I want to listen to the mission again. So, Janus got the better of you. You knew he was... Yeah, whatever. All right. I just received a report that a security guard at the Megacorp dockyard just spotted Janus and a bunch of his goons going into a warehouse in the area. If he gets to his yacht, we'll never collar him. Get a move on. Maybe you can catch him before he goes underground again. Right. Some warehouse. So this area kind of changes a little bit because it never used to be as grimy and, and all the graffiti and stuff like that. So that's nice to see. Uh, we're at the main station. Show up for everybody else. There we go. This could be a long one. Because usually the tram is back by now. Let's see how many stops we've got. One on this side. Two.
to three. I'm assuming this will be the last stop. Yeah, okay. Right, let's see what we're up to now. Save it here. I don't know why you weren't shooting at me at that level, but never mind. Well, not that level, but at that point. I don't know what Accu Track is. This area seems to be, to be a bit light of stuff or places. Is it? Okay, so that was a drop in her ass. Right, okay, so there's not really much in there.
promote the um, the giveaway. You, the giveaway information is next to where it says December. So that's System Shop 2 for uh, GOG. It's a GOG key. And it's going to get drawn today regardless. This is the last day for um, December. Another warehouse area. the key that was easy enough so we have a blue key I think Nice effort with the um, automated stuff in the factory. Bloody rats everywhere. around the back of the other one. Zuka. It's the same um, battery. It's a raid, give me a moment. Hello there, hello there Letwarski and Raiders, thank you for the raid. I'm just playing the last bit of um, Tech War for today and that'll be my final out uh, December. Oh, I've got the other key. Okay, that's brilliant. So I've got two keys now. Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year to you too. Uh, our, um, our official night is, is today, but it won't be until later on. Um, not sure what everybody's time zones are on. 
But it's a happy new year as well. I don't see it. Well, yeah, I won't see it because I'm off out, so. Get over here! Oh, thank you for the subscription there, Ian. Speaking of which, since a lot of you are here, I'm doing a giveaway. I can see on the right hand side of the uh, text. So I've got a giveaway for System Shock 2 on GOG. Um, let me just put the um, message out in case anybody wants to. Uh, anybody who subscribes gets two entrants. Um, uh, so subscribers get two, I think I've said it so, so it's two um, chances to win. Everybody else gets one, I think. I think that's what I've put it as. Um, it's 2023 in Sydney. I thought Sydney was an hour of, uh, day forward at least. We've still got 10 and a bit hours to go. Thank you for the follow there, Pom Pom Pox. Because I'm sure last year I remember, or oh, one year I remember, um, oh, what's his name? Um, McCall. I was watching his on New Year's Day, I'm sure it was. And it wasn't until like halfway through the day before, was it halfway through the day or something like that before the New Year happened? It was kind of weird to watch. Oh, this looks interesting. I think we're in the right area. So that's a teleporter. Got a blue key. Cross your fingers. We're actually going to do this. There's the last guy. We've done it. And I didn't have to cheat. I'm not happy with your method. But at least you got results. Janus is out of commission, and we have a better idea of what's going on. But don't be surprised if that trail of bodies you're leaving doesn't lead you right back to the freezer. Whatever. It's Rick Ass that you just killed. <laughs> That's what it's like for Australians right now, so you can relate. <laughs> right, so is that it? I'm sure... Is that... Is that all the missions done then? Or the Matrix? I've never actually done the Matrix, that's the thing. I couldn't even select it, can I? Select it? Oh, this is the Matrix bit. I don't even know... the hell am I doing? There's Rockwell Bank. you to the trail I I know maybe 
Have you done the horrible? This is the horrible. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. It's like saying, oh, sorry. It's like saying virus, but it sounds like saying IRS, which is quite funny. Right, let me just go and put the uh, the manual. So, tech core. I'm assuming I needed to kill everybody to get all the little um, bits at the bottom right. There we go, manual. Mm -mm. So, tell me about the... Mac tech. Okay, so while in the matrix, you are subjected to extreme amounts of sensory information to prevent damage to your nervous system. The matrix system will revive you when your energy gets low. The matrix or matrix time energy continuum display shows the amount of time energy remaining before the matrix station forcibly ejects you. Standard time is six minutes, but this decreases with each energy expenditure and can be increased with items find in the matrix. Uh, activate matrix by pressing oh so you can go in at any time so i could press m now it doesn't do anything so we got alt and q quick matrix and start over x and c is up and down excuse me shift next or c and move up and down faster control shoot spacebar activate wall switches and I've got nothing in my inventory apart from the things at the bottom. Hmm. Um, so basically, I managed to do the last mission quite quickly, surprisingly, you know. This is the Matrix part of it. The cyberspace bit as depicted in the um, program. Oh, I do have a, sh uh, a weapon. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Go charge. Apologies for the flickering. I can't kill them, obviously, because I don't have the glove. Oh, I can kill it, okay. Just takes it a while. No, uh, there's no ambient sounds or music in the entire section. So there's a bit of sounds, but there's no music that I can hear. I can't even get the glove up. Okay, so I've got a gun that has now run out of bullets. Thank you. 
Oh, is that that's a bad thing? And now I'm stuck. Did I die here? Uh, yeah, add music in the other parts of the game. This does not seem to be loading any. Come on, just kill me already. Right. pick up the glove. Why would it not pick up the glove? Is this gone a bit wrong? Or is the glove moving? some glove charges. Give me a moment whilst I figure out why it's not letting me have the glove. Place matrix symbol clues by a person in spacebar. Doesn't even tell me about the glove. Right, that's annoying. Hmm. So I've got a gun that can run out of bullets and nowhere to replenish it that I know of. The glove doesn't come up at all. Just see what it says in help. Spacebar pick up item. Maybe that's what I need to do, possibly. There's the glove, it's there. It's not allowing me to do that. Hmm. And see if it'll pick up the um, music but it's not doing so CD pause CD resumed oh here we go I found it Right, hopefully.
I wonder whether these doors wouldn't open if you didn't kill the other people. Like the Tet Lords, for instance. Access required. So we've been that way. Must be able to get through here. Unless there's somewhere else I'm supposed to be activating. Oh wait, I've gone in. Uh, there's source code to this game so maybe somebody can pick this down thing somehow <laughs> and realize somebody put source code to this or at least sorry release the source code And that's why I couldn't pick up the globe because they already had it. Why is that intruder captured? Oh, okay. It's a bit mean. But fine. Uh, don't want that one. There we go. Let's go this way. Fair that they start shooting you pretty much straight away. And now I'm being shot at by someone. Oh, my God. 
Hmm. Is this it? Energy pellet. Can't see what's shooting at me. Yeah. So that's the door that we came in. Although it felt a lot kind of... Longer to go down and it did go to go up. Is this it? This feels a bit unintuitive. Well, not intu unintuitive, but kind of a bit weird why you just put a big column of nothing up and down. The access required, but I should have the key. I just need to go around the other side. There we go. Hmm. Hit the space bar. Nothing's happening. Let me just see if there's anything. Get a map at least. I suppose that's something. Do I need to hit something in order to get access? Spacebar activates the wall switches. Hmm. Oh, unless... Well, 
Uh, lights already reset, so I'll give you the the thing for that back. So the sta standard uh, lights is is, re is done. Unless you want to waste a um. If people need to waste points, I will need to get a uh, trash bin sorted. <clears throat> so there's something around here shooting. Oh, here we go. Got you. So there should be an opening somewhere up here, according to this. And there is none. Hmm. Unless it's something to do with the restricted access, not allowing me to. The default build editor screen for the overlay map. I thought it was just a standard uh, one anyway, because don't you get uh, something similar in uh, Duke 3D? And there's there's two different ones in Duke 3D. I think there's the um, there's I think there's a, there's this style and there's the one with the color at the top of it. Um, but I can't remember if the arrow is there or it replaces it with um, Duke Nukem himself. Yeah, modifies it slightly. Right, so this is not opening at all according to the map. And the only other thing we've got is this here. First game made in the build engine. Well, I don't think he did too much of a bad job. There we go. I mean, it kind of represented um, Tech War in a familiar way, if you've ever seen the. Um, the film. I just think some of the books could have been ironed out.
Okay, so that's done something. Hasn't opened that. That's where I came in from. So I'm hoping that button has done something to the out here. So it's either open this or the other side. Yep, let's open that. Brilliant. Okay, so we now have, know how to open these now. This feels a little bit like, um, oh, what's the bloody game? System shockish. Yeah, this game could benefit with mouse look. Why it didn't have one, I don't know. Really could have done. Because I'm pretty sure you can get it in Duke Nukem 3D, but I can't remember if it's out of the box you can get it. Um, Sister Shock Cyberspace is better design. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Um, When you look at a licensed game to consider its qualities and adaption and that way take what looks successful. Yeah, I think it does a pretty good job. And I get games like Cobra that are nothing like the Source Patil are still really good. Yeah, I get what you mean on that one. Oh I'd look, I've already got the manual up. Um but I still don't understand what the hell I'm supposed to be doing in, in the in this section. I think I'm slowly getting it though. Because it doesn't really tell me. Just kind of gives me an overview. I mean, at least with um, the cyberspace bit in System Shock, there's a definite area to go in. And you know exactly where uh, everything is. This feels a bit too mazy. Oh, right, okay. I think I know what I'm doing now.
can even cancel range attacks in cyberspace by shooting them. Causing both your project and an MA's projectile to fling off the side. So we've got. See, I can look up and down, but it's with the um, with the keys. I don't gotta try and remember what, which one's which. I just prefer if it was mouse, but the problem is mouse just uh, drives your actual movement rather than the actual um. Getting lucky. I've hit another switch, I'm assuming that should hit the other side. Um place we couldn't actually find, even though the map showed it was there. I'm just hoping I can get through this without dying. long way down as well. Right, sure it should be over here and I also need to grab this. There we go. So I'm hoping that's what's done this. Especially since I've got no health left. And this is supposed to be the last uh, tech wall. I 
No, it's not open. Okay. Unless I've missed it, and I'm pretty sure I have done. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe it's over here. Because there was a section couldn't open. So it might be that. On that corridor to the left. Oh, we could only go around. Okay, fair enough. I thought, never mind. Yeah, out. Damn it. Okay. Back here again. So that's that uh, open door. If that button was for here, I don't know whether it is or not. Thank <laughs> you. 
Eyes now because we need to open it somewhere else. Shift and A should make it a bit faster. I've almost eaten the key. It wasn't this way, was it? Yeah, I think it was. This should open this door. It's a really long um, way up and down. I think what I'm going to try and do is, in fact, I'm going to save it here. It's not called the Matrix, but sorry, it's going to be called the Matrix. So I'm going to see if I can rush through the enemies. So it didn't take much damage for doing that. Hopefully I haven't missed a button. But the thing about the does the job is to blibbity blobbity blah. <laughs> right, let's hope oh, let's hope sorry that that's opened up the uh, other part we need to get to. This part. Let's go down first. Okay, it's not there. Well, I did try putting on the CD music, but it doesn't seem to want to play. But I think last time we noticed it, um, it only had MIDI on. But still, the MIDI should be playing. Right, so this is not opened at all. So either I'm missing a switch or 
I need to go elsewhere, maybe? Yeah, the music's pretty good in SS1, SS1, sorry. Right, okay. This is a bit of a dead end, I think. Probably come back to this later. So basically you've got things shooting at you that are um, quite thin. Let's go this side. Oh, that's where we were. Okay. Don't want that. It's a nasty maze. This is where I started out from. Don't know what that was. Maybe help?
infinite circles at this point. And I'm back in the beginning again. Fucking hell. <laughs> Sub this maze. Wait a minute. Don't tell me it was this simple. Right. So what's the point in this? Is this just... I have no idea. And then we go back to here again. back to the maze and what's the point I mean I can go on the outside just like that now but I'm assuming you've got to get to that point just to get to the right path right okay <sighs>
was hoping this was going to be it, but... Makes me go down. Oh, I'm going a minute. Out. Brilliant. Still access required. Needed. Ah! Please don't tell me there's a button somewhere in the fucking maze that I've got to come and get before. Virus detected. Oh, that's where the, uh, though I'm assuming this is what this is, it's a virus. So I finally managed to <laughs> get to the other end of the um the maze, but no, of course not. Oh god, I'm gonna have to save this for another time, I think. Uh this is just getting tedious. Um at least we got through most of the tech lords. We'll be on 118. We could probably squeeze in another 20 minutes. And then I think I'm going to call it because as much as the tried with tech war it is very, very fucking frustrating. Um, so I'm definitely going to come back to this so we can actually finish it properly like we did with Iron Assault. Um, I do appreciate the tried with this game. Uh, on the build engine, but there was there was a few bugs in there that need fixing. And when you look at the um, when you look at the walkthroughs, you find it's like they managed to find the tech lord in about six minutes or something. But you spend like over uh, that trying to kind of bounce between different stations, and I can see what they're trying to do. I think they're trying to kind of expand out the world and make you kind of pad it out a bit. But it's kind of it's a bit frustrating and I'm also it's also partly my fault because I thought it was going to be something a bit different to the game um, but it's just a simple go find keys go kill people um, I don't know if there's any other uh, videos where you don't get berated for killing other people like innocents in the game and it's good to have those around because at least it, it kind of I suppose it tries to kind of be a bit um realistic for the time i mean we're talking what 96 this came out give me a sec let me have a look yeah i think it says 96 there i can't read it properly because um we've got black on purple at the bottom there which is not a great combination um 96 yeah so it's not it's not a bad effort for 96 Uh, appreciate your patience of um imagine man anity i'm not quite sure what that's uh whether others would reach quit and you're just oh well try again later yeah I'll, i usually do or i'll try and look at a walkthrough if i'm really stuck um which i did a couple of times in this game 
No idea how anybody's supposed to figure out the last map without a guide, yeah. And none of it makes any sense. It does have a good city map, and like I said, it does kind of replicate the um, the night uh, the the world of it pretty well. Uh, considering that the film was kind of like a, I think it was a low budget. I could be wrong here, but um, film and it was so it was watchable. I need to watch the rest of the films actually, and a TV series. I've just not not got round to it yet. Um, only thing I like about Ted War City is great. Ninety five. It's on Wikipedia because. It came out later the same year. This, it, unless it's 96 is the... Unless it's the soft key release, it's 96. Because it says copyright 96 soft key multimedia. Ninety four Sci Fi Channel three D engine licensed from three D realms. Um, software based on Tech War story elements authored by William Shatner. Tech War story elements copyright ninety five. So it could be just a later release, possibly. Later budget release, yeah. Yeah, soft key. Alright, so even for 95, it wasn't too bad. But, um... Right, so what I'm going to do for the next... Uh, say 30 minutes, I suppose. I'm going to... Come out of this... We will definitely come back to Tech War and get that finished. I'll probably do that later in the year. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play some games that I was playing yesterday. One of them being Ravage because I didn't realise I had a, um, a full version and I enjoyed what I played yesterday. Uh, so remind me of how the sound is. I'll update the game name so I was playing this yesterday got through quite a bit of a playthrough why are you not oh I know what I did wrong hang on a minute I was trying to fix the machine and I took off the blaster setting See you next time, Happy New Year, I suppose, as well. Um, yep, Happy New Year to, to Kinecos. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, I don't know where I got my full version of Ravage. You've got a source code. All right, remind. Uh, let me know what the sound of this is like. The sound like cause somebody said it wasn't a bit, a bit too low last time. I right, would have go normal this time. Yeah, I know. Um, I was saying last time, but I, I do rejoice for the music that's in here. Right, let me just push the music a bit more. That. 
Oh, well, I've got a mod player now for uh, Windows 3.1, so hoping I can probably pull it from there and play it through them. Oh shit! This is a bit nastier now. Because Rocky did not have this amount of. Uh, bit harder Ooh. wow this is rocky level I can steam through but this is just be interesting to see if the turrets actually work this time Someone described this as a mix between um, Tyrion and Raptor, which you can completely see at that point. survive to the boss. I think I'm about part way through now. Um, yesterday I think I got to the final countdown but the last boss completely owned me despite the fact that I had some decent we well I say decent weaponry I swapped out the um, the beer weapon for the electro shot one which even though it was a bit more expensive wasn't as powerful as the beer And I kind of regret changing.
Wow, this is pretty, uh, almost pretty tough. Just need a bit more practice, I think. made it on that one this time. I'm always to the boss at least. See if the bosses um, has changed its. Um... Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> so on the rookie level, those two shots to come in do not actually exist. So it's I like the fact that um, they've added some new bits and pieces to the difficulty levels um so it's not a case of oh your shots are a bit too weak or anything like that it's um 
it's the just kind of taking out bits and pieces to make it easier. Right, I'll have one more game in this and I think I'm going to call it for a stream. Let's see if we can actually defeat the boss this time. <laughs> right, I'll do one more. Oh, I also need to do the drawer as well. So I'm just going to put the, um, you know, spin it out again. So basically I'm giving away the GOG uh, key for System Shock 2, so if you want to enter please do, I've already got somebody in who put one in um, Thank you Baby Lonzo for the follow so yeah, I've already got somebody, oh shit, I didn't want to do that. I've already got somebody in, um, so I want at least another few people in if you can. If, well, I, it, that's when you want to enter, um, and then I'm going to draw it at the end of this game, and then that'll be it for December this year. in a moment. There we go. Changed. Hey there, Mac, Mac, Mac. Um, 
just to show you there's another colour, I think there's, what did we put, was blue, I'll, just, I'll keep it on for a second, but that's red, um, I'll put it back to blue. Happy almost new year, uh, for us it's going to be in, um, about eight hours, nine hours, nine hours, so between nine and ten hours we're going to be in for new year. Um, okay, so that's Ravage done, uh, I'm not playing any more of that, I did yesterday, I did a massive stream with the Rocky level. Um, enjoyed what it was. I need to also put this onto the flight six. In fact, I could probably do that now. So what I'm gonna do, I need to remember, is it this way? I think it is. So let me just put the serial cable in. Is it still on the four eight six? And I go into Okay. Yeah, really nice one. I'm just going to switch it over to the 486, so I've always got it. So this, if you don't know, is the um, is how I uh, move files over from this machine to this machine. Um, it uses the um, serial cable connection. So it's a bit slow, but it does work. So you can see uh, this has popped up with other um, other um, so that C drive is to do with this machine because it's got two two gig machine things. Um, I need to think. So it's pointing to the D as well. I need to do. I think Ravage was on C. That's not that one. Is it F? How will I ever fill that? Uh, I've already done that. <laughs> uh, I've failed one anyway. Right, so if I do, um, I need to do X copy, um, Ravage. No, I need to do F. Ravage. Who? I think I'll put it C for now. D for directory and that's reading a source file so at the bottom left you can see it's reading now there's a little asterisk so it's basically reading from the F drive and it's going to copy to the C drive and this is what I was doing yesterday um, this should be a bit quicker than Doom hopefully he says as long as it's not like 40 meg if not I can just leave it for now and I've just copied over two, so it's copied over the DOS 4GW and hint. In fact, I could probably do what I did yesterday. So, there we go. You can see that it's copying, that's copying from this machine here. The moment it's just reading the information before it copies it over. 
Alright, happy new year. Improve your stream on um I think that's a bot, isn't it? One message you get banned that person. Alright, so hopefully I've not banned anyone I shouldn't have done. Well, hello there. Not all sus, uh, definitely human. I'm just used to the bots coming up with things like increase your followers. So I'm looking at that going, it probably is, but you know, I wasn't quite sure. Most rabbit just copying over to the um, 486 machine. I'm going to do the draw. So I'm going to give you the last chance to get the... Um, the giveaway to uh, the system shock too and I'm gonna draw it in about a minute or so that's I'll do the countdown so at least I know when it can I, I can draw it in fact I'll give two minutes The countdown there is there we go. Uh, comes in chat with the same promotion, especially using URL shortness as compromised account. It's great to know the phone verification is absolutely nothing on Twitch because these assholes just have phone burners and dozens and yeah, it sounds about right. Well, at least the ravage thing is slightly quicker than um, the copier than doing was. And I'm also going to have to get Doom on this side, the other side, um, and then see if we can get the uh, serial connection to run the um, the uh, Doom over network. It didn't work properly last time for um, Duke Nukem yesterday, unfortunately. Right, okay. Do you want to link to that music group so you can see how many songs are plagiarizing revenge? Uh, yeah, stick it in and I'll put it onto this machine here. Uh, right, closed, and then I'm going to draw the entrance. Stop for water as one. Um, the key. So I don't know if he's here still. Let me just check. No, I will remind myself that it's him that's won. 
and give him the um all right got it thanks for that kind of cast right i will remind you to stop for what the next time it pops in that is won the uh the giveaway right so that's it for december for this year um I've already been ha I've already had a suggestion for what to do for next year um, because somebody asked it for this year, but unfortunately it was playing Tech War. So next year, if it's still running, we'll be doing um, Earth Siege, which is like a mech game, and you can actually get them free nowadays. So you can get them as ISO format. Um, Thank you very much, Mac, Mac, Mac. Yeah, I will put in also the um, DOS number. That's it. That's the link for everybody who's been doing stuff. So if you want to catch anybody before New Year, um, that's them on that link. There's also, I think they're still doing, um, I think they're still doing T-shirts and merch and stuff. So you can get cups, so you can get T-shirts like this one here. I'll just pop over to the webcam stream so you can see that follow. That is one of the t-shirts from this year. Um, the other one has a blue kind of um, blue kind of screen on that one. So that's where you can get that from. I believe he's still going to keep them up for a bit in January, but I don't know how long it's going to stay up for. Um, I will also going to do a massive... Um, shout out for a lot of people so i'll start out with the first two um i think kinikos he does it in around november um it starts in around november so if you're on the discord um you can get on the t-shirt i don't know when it's going to be for next year because i think um Fract on my mind is co uh doing the stuff which reminds me, so let's get on with some shout outs for this year. So we'll start off with the person who came up with this in the first place, RTM Havoc. Uh, then now the co-founder is back on my mind. I, I'm trying not to push it. <laughs> I really just wanted it for myself. It's the main reason I actually went through with it. Uh, not the co-founder, is now co-organizer, sorry. Right, and then I can just start to um, go and shout out anybody else. So I'm just going to go through the flow page, uh, flow page, and it's going to be a lot. So give me a moment. Um, I think the first one is all classics gaming. Oh, he was 
so fast. 65 there. Over. Oh, okay. We're going from. Okay. We're going from a bronze helm here to putting a baby's crib on our head. This dragon's gonna walk around with a bastonet on his head. There. Here's your bastonet. He's got a bastonet on his head. This man, he's got a freaking baby crib on his head. HP plus 10. Don't go into another world yet. That's mm -hmm. That's fine. Just another another letter. I said, oh God, at the same time he said it? I said it? Oh, that's an inception! I said it at the same time! <laughs> I said, oh God, that's my VOD video. Come on, guy, I wish I was still a man. If you're too close, they'll run you through any way they can. But no, it might be too safe with you holding out the piece. If I count your piggy bank that John the Chase is easy to miss. If you ain't sure you bite the nicest pieces of the yam, but can't turn that pet on dog, this world is even fast. Oh, I think I did that too fast. Each temple you go to in the game is dedicated to a certain god. Um, so, you know, this is a temple of Kilian, um, which is more of a home and hearth, kind of like a Hestia type figure, <laughs> if you want to equivocate it to like a Greek Roman god uh, that we know IRL. Bungee jump or you? It's up to you. You go for okay. it. Wee. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a really good one. You know what? Show off the one fucking thing I never bothered to use in the entire campaign because it's a stupid name. Air unit transferring control. You don't get a machine gun. 
like what you did is, uh, this, whatever the fuck you want to call this. what it's all about guys after like 50 tries heck yeah Whoa. See a question. Yeah, I just want this boat down. Nope, not yet. Oh shit. There's much I can do about this, man. Somebody who has my unimpressed emote, just spam it in chat, please. You all saw that. There are 30 people in here who witnessed me get access log for it, store it. It should be in there. The first time we went through there, we stored it. We got a new mission objective. We went up to the surface. The shuttle was there. Come with the dog with green eyes. Ooh. No problem, Kid Cuss. I'm just shouting out everybody that uh, participated this year in December. We did. Retro Slam Gaming. We're peaceful. Peaceful Island Gaming. You guys are mean.
Come here, pig. Pig? Why are you calling me a pig? Where's pig coming from? You guys are assholes. Oh, look, you made, me, you made me walk into the fire. I didn't say it. I said peaceful island gaming. Oh, shit. Great. I, uh, the dragon just summoned a demon. Pig. Peaceful Island Gaming. Pig. So I called myself a pig. <sighs> I can't win. Yeah, I'm teasing like a bitch. I'm teasing like a bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you want to play BS? I can play BS too, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cheesy. I don't care. This game gave me so much bullshit. <laughs> We're done. If anything, he's right clicking me. That's dumb. Trophy doesn't do anything. Uh, I don't really want to. Uh, unfortunately, the um, the game censored some of the F word. Sorry about that. Uh, but I think the the smile at the end is too sensitive. Hope that's okay. Ooh, tool dust. Ah, Frank's tool. Oh no. Nah, I'll follow that follows. Hmm. Oh. I'm, oh. Oops. It's always the case when you miss it. Attack the village. I'm a bad mom. We'll leave the parenting to you. Ah! Ah! No! No! And the zombie, no! Who else are we missing? Do we know where they are? No problem there, Mac, Mac, Mac. Die. Okay, there's two of them remaining. Do you see them, sister? No problem, Sunny Bell. Uh, want me to get them? Yes. Captain, a Klingon bird of prey has deployed. The phasers seem to have no effect on the Klingon bird. What do you mean it has no effect? Robin, what's going on? <laughs> no problem, guys. I can get the phasers working again. Have a happy new year. We don't have a few minutes. I'm on it, Captain. Captain, work is now up and going. Was this Star Trek uh Starfleet Academy, the first one? Good. If you can't shoot it, as much just ram it. Brum brum. Oh, LBA. So I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> uh, <whee. laughs> I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Oh, the more so I remember this in the Mega Drive. Um, I played it a bit after. I didn't buy it, but um, I do remember it more in the Mega Drive than anything else. Fucking scared me again, DJ. Right, so that is everybody shouted out to participate in DOS Summit this year. Um, a lot of shout outs. Um, let me just go back to chat 
it's because I was trying to be quiet throughout those. Uh, so no problem with the shout outs. Um, let's have a look. I can't believe you picked up the clip there, the last bit of Gorkov's campaign where I show off a pointless play. Um, it, it, that's usually what happens anyway. Usually I find something that's like, why are you showing this one as better ones? But it's just Twitch for you. Um, Urban Assault, I think I've just, I've just looked it up. So it's uh, released for Windows and Play... Oh, Cancel for PlayStation. Came out in 98, apparently. Is that the one? The strategy title that was published by Microsoft Game Studios. you got tanks and aircraft. Maybe something I could look at later on, but I've got a lot to look at so far. Um, yeah. Uh, Techno Bumble had a hell of a time getting the LBA working. Was it LBA one or two? Available as a prototype, barrel crash prone. Uh, clip of mine picked up from the shootout. It's an unreleased expansion pack for Urban Assault called Metropolis Dawn. Added a few new units and playable single player campaigns for the Gore Cubs. Okay. I'll call it a screensaver. I don't have to worry, it's not killed my screen. And also, right, so you can see on the bottom end, it's copied everything from Ravage Over. I'm just going to have a quick check to see if it actually is working. Um, and then I do the Alt and F4 here. Right, so I put it in, was it D drive or C drive? Yeah. Sound blaster. Just switch the align in. Oh, that's loud. Sorry. That's what I get for having a somewhat decent. Um, Oh, that's really good. Just quick do a rookie. I just want to see. It seems to be quite. Um... So if it's a uh, small screen, just because it's my. Um... It's a bit slower. Yeah, that's a lot slower. I can't remember whether this machine is on um, slow mode or not. I'll have to double check. But the music sounds fucking amazing still. You could just about still hear it in the background. <laughs> Wow, is that not coming out? Quite a lot of 3D action strategy games in the 90s, so 2000s, just kind of dead. Right, let me just have a quick look. Uh, movie games. It's 96 race. Oh, it's finally come on. So Moby Games does not have a specific CPU listed. Unless there's something in the text. Um, let me just double check whether I've got... Sorry, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm kind of bumbling around at the moment. Oh, I'm on slow speed for CPU, so that'll put it as a 386 pretty much. Ok, 
Okay, escape F4. Let's try this again. And I'll double check this and then uh, I'm going to raid over to someone else. I've got an idea who I'm raiding to, as long as that person is still on. Yep. Oh, that looks a lot better. So, make sure the CPU... Yeah, that look at that. That's a lot different. So, on a um, DX2, this looks pretty good to play. And I'm on a 66 megahertz DX2. So, previously, it's because I was on slow mode. Look at that. Right, so... We've got this option uh, on the 486 if anybody requests it. There we go. And it quits out pretty quickly. So on a 386 dial, it doesn't like it too much. Okay. That's good to see. Right. I think that's it for today. Again, thank you very um thank you everyone uh, very much for popping in and uh, suffering through tech war with me. We will get, come back to uh, doing tech war, finishing that off later in the year. I'm just gonna have a bit of a mind break from it now, but uh, I do want to get it as a completed uh, game uh, to get that done. Have a good New Year for you all. Um, I, my New Year's gonna start in about kind of nine ten hours. Uh, schedule for the rest of this week or this week coming. So <clears throat> I'm back tomorrow with um Atari Jaguar emulation, the new one that came out called Big P, um emulation. We can do a proper proper day on that. Well, not a day, but a proper stream on that. Start with tomorrow. Monday is going to be back to Amiga Monday. So we're looking at um, cover discs. And I'll see what games I can come up with. I've seen that apparently there's a new Turrican EGA release. I'm going to try and get that on. Uh, Tuesday, we're back with Portal Radiance. That is for the DOS machine here. Um, oh, and that reminds me. I've been given... Um, Today has arrived um, the DuPont cables, which means I can get it from the PC speaker to the sound card. Hopefully that will pipe through. So you'll be able to hear PC speaker sound stuff from now on. And then once we do that, I can start to show you more Amiga games and DOS and maybe go back through the ones that didn't actually we couldn't actually hear properly. Um... That means then Friday I'm going to have to work out what we're doing. And then Sunday the 8th we're starting a new um, let stream type thing with Men in Black on the PlayStation. So that is a schedule for upcoming for the new year. Um, right, let's go and raid World's Row because I've not raided that person yet. Let's see if they're still on. <laughs> yep, that's me. 
Um, World's Rogue is playing to Dexter, which is something I wanted to get running on this machine, but the version that I got did not like. I think it might be some sort of copy protection that was causing an issue with it. So it would be good to see that for a while. Uh, you know, on his uh, their stream, sorry. Uh, World... There we go. So starting that raid. I was gonna get ready for the stream myself, but take care. Sorry, Kikos. I'll probably raid next time. Um so anyway, I will see you all soon. Have a good new year and um yeah, until then, bye.